Joining us now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Uh, Senator, it's, it's so obvious what's happening here. If you believe that we're spending too much money in certain areas of foreign policy, I guess you're part of the Russia, Russia, Russia interference? This is the third straight presidential election, Laura, that they've tried this. Nobody believes this stuff. This isn't about foreign interference by Russia. This is a smokescreen for domestic interference by our deep state and the Democrat Party. This is the same play that they've run for years. In 2016, the FBI used this playbook in order to interfere in our election that year. Lie to a court, get wire trumps on tap on, tr uh, on, uh, on Trump and launder it through the media. You remember all of that. Then in 2020, anybody remember the Hunter Biden laptop story that they suppressed? Big tech went right along with it. And now it's this again. It's the same old thing. And I just say again, nobody believes this stuff. Well, and I think Mark Zuckerberg coming forward and talking about the pressure that was brought to bear on social media companies uh, back in on the last election cycle. I thought that was significant. I mean, the, the winds are, are blowing through here, this entire false narrative. And this is a slippery slope, is it not? If the government can say entire topics, essentially, are off limits, where is the freedom in any of that, Senator? Well, here's what Mark Zuckerberg revealed to the American people, which is that the government colluded, our government colluded with big tech to force censorship on the American people, colluded with big tech to take down discussions, uh, debate that they didn't like. Laura, that is absolutely unconstitutional. The First Amendment does not prohibit, does not allow it. It prohibits it. And yet our government was doing that by using big tech as their willing ally. They're trying to do the same thing again. This is an attempt to legitimize it, to say, oh, now the Russians are doing it. So therefore, big tech, you've got to go out there and take down any posts about inflation or the border. You've got to censor all of this content. It's the same old thing. And I just don't believe the American people are going to fall for it. Senator, I want to get your thoughts on something that the angle has been covering, which is this um, U.S. steel issue. It's one of the last remaining big, big U.S. companies uh, in, involved in steel production. The Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. says that Nippon Steel's proposed takeover would create national security risks because it could hurt the supply of steel needed for critical transport, infrastructure, construction and agriculture uh, projects. Senator, your view on this, given that Biden and Harris belatedly kind of seemed to come out saying, yeah, we're against this. Uh, and Trump and Vance uh, also saying that, but, you know, months and months ago. I was going to say Trump has been a leader on this from the beginning. The truth is U.S. steel should not be sold. I don't care what the foreign country is. We shouldn't have foreign countries owning our steel production in the United States of America. And if you want to look at who's to blame for this, look at Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It is their policies for years now that have cost us jobs, that have cost us supremacy economically, that are driving more and more people into debt. Look at credit card debt in this nation, Laura. It's because of the policies of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. So yeah, U.S. Steel shouldn't be sold. Those jobs ought to be right here in the United States of America. But the only person who can guarantee that will happen is Donald Trump. Yeah, I, I don't believe the Harris-Biden uh, you know, switch on the topic. It's obviously political expediency, at least in part in play. Uh, Senator, thank you.